guys, this is Chris Haas, also known as DJ Euphoric. I'm here with uh, another quick tutorial. Um, this one's how to uh, implement quartz with Renoise. Uh, this can be used in many different uh, different ways, different applications. It can be used with uh, Ableton Live as well. Um, now, one thing to remember with Ableton Live, um, the MIDI notes don't correspond to quartz. It's usually two octaves off. So like a C3, um, in Ableton is actually C5 and Quartz. Uh, you don't have this issue with Renoise, so I, I believe it's something with Ableton itself. Okay, so start off here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hop over to Quartz. Okay, um, just like anything, I'm gonna put in a clear patch, so I get a nice black background. Um, I'm gonna put in a 3D transform, 3D transformation. I'm going to put in a couple MIDI patches here. Now I'm going to put in a notes receiver as well as a controller's receiver. Okay. Um, now, what I'm going to want, I'm going to want the volume to scale a cube. So I'll set up the modulation wheel because modulation is CC1 or controller code, controller command. Okay, so there we go. It's set up to the scale X, Y, Z. So far, nothing's happening. We don't have anything in the transform. So I'll go into the transform. I'll put in a cube. Okay, and I'll make it a little bit nicer. I'm going to put an LFO in here as well. Now, I'll do it on the Y rotation. Okay, and I'm going to sawtooth up. That way it'll uh it'll just keep uh going around in circles. So um amplitude three sixty period say ten seconds. Okay, you're not gonna see anything here yet. So I'll go back to the parent. Uh basically everything's scaled to zero because there's nothing coming through the modulation wheel. Um, before I set up the notes, I'll go over to Renoise. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, Instrument 0. And what we're going to do here, we're just going to go over to Instrument Settings, External MIDI. I'll set this up to my bus. And Channel 1, everything's good there. Okay, so basically this is... Um, my bus instrument that I'm using to go from Renoise to Quartz. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, go to Track DSPs. I'm going to want to go to my master track, and I'm going to put in a signal follower. I wish there was an equivalent to this in, in uh, Ableton Live. I'd use it so much more. Um, and what we're going to want is a destination. So uh, I'll set it up for an instrument MIDI control. Since this is already mapped to um, my bus, everything's going to be fine. Um, and the modulation wheel is already in here. So now what I need to do, I set this up to my instrument MIDI control. Oh, I don't have anything set here. Just a second. Uh, I'm just going to use CC1, which is modulation. on CC1. Okay, so now you can see as I talk, it's actually going to scale the cube, which is pretty cool. Um, it doesn't look like it's scaling it enough. Uh, I don't I don't think so. It should get a little bit bigger than that. So I'll jump back over to Quartz. And between this, I'm actually going to put in a math patch. So this is going to go to the scales. There we go. And the math patch isn't doing anything yet. Uh, what I want to do, I want to multiply this by an amount of, say, 4. Okay, so there we go. It's getting a lot bigger. Uh, you can see it's actually spinning there as well. But uh, there's still something wrong here. Uh, it, the lighting's not good, so I'll add some lighting. 
just so you get a little bit more depth here. So add lighting. And what I could do, I'll actually take everything and drop it. I'm going to cut it. Go into my lighting. I'll just paste it in here. Okay, so now we have a little bit more depth. Um, now what I'm going to do with this MIDI notes receiver, I'm going to take key 5 and make that enable the transformation. So I go back to here, note 0. Make sure I'm not on my mic input track. I got that coming in a line in. Um, already set up to 4. Actually, I'll set this up to 8. Let's check my BPM here. Let's go 128 and usually use eight lines per beat. Just gives me a little bit more control over what I'm what I'm doing. Edit. Okay, and I have it mapped to C5. So every time I hit it, you're gonna see that flash. Okay. So here we go, it's actually playing here. Let me uh, follow the pattern. So you can't really notice too much, but it is going on and off with the beat. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna throw in a audio clip. Okay, so it might be actually scaling too much now. So all I have to do, go back to Quartz, find my math here. I'll just do it times two. And now I'll mute the mic channel. And you'll see what we're, uh, what we're dealing with. Okay, uh, I don't think you could hear anything, so what I'll do, I'll turn things up. Once again, this is Chris Hawes, and I hope you had fun. Thanks, bye.